What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make a swimming system for your player. It's going to be a very easy tutorial to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is just enable a plugin for the water. Of course, you already have a level with your own water, you can use that one, but I'm going to use this one. Uh, so you just go ahead and enable the plugin, you say OK, it's experimental and just restart the editor. So. Once we have the plugin enabled, just go ahead and create a new level. I'm just gonna create a basic and just create it. I'm gonna get rid of the floor and let's go ahead and create a landscape because it's required for this, um, you know, water uh, plugin to work. And it's very important that we enable edit layers because the uh, also the water plugin works with different layers on the plugin, uh, the landscape, sorry. And I think the size is great, so just click create and just go back into the select mode. Now we have our landscape, so let's just go here into quickly add to the part, go to all classes, type in water, and we have our water body ocean. So just drag it into uh, your scene, and there we go. We have our water body ocean here. Now I'm gonna just select the, th the different uh, splines and make it much smaller because it's right now absolutely huge. So let's just go over here. All right, now I have a really small island. So if I were to press play, I just have my player. But of course, when we go into the water, we of course cannot swim. So let's make that we can actually go ahead and start swimming. Okay, so let's start building the uh, you know functionality so our player can swim. So let's go into the third person character blueprint or whatever you know character blueprint you're using. So let's go ahead and open it. When it's open, it, just go into the events graph. And basically, we're going to create two custom events that we are later going to call from um, our water. Okay, so just right click custom event and this is going to be start swimming. And the other one custom events is going to be stop swimming. Okay, so on start swimming, what we're going to do is get our character movement components. Just drag it over here and we're going to get the physics volume because right from here sorry here we can set the water volume which will basically give us the functionality of being on water basically okay then we're gonna create a new variable and i'm gonna say it's swing and basically it's gonna be type boolean make sure and just drag it on set it and of course it's gonna be set to true and then uh for now it's gonna be good for us um, so and the next thing I'm going to do is just exactly copy all this and you space over here Drag it into the stop swimming, but invert so it will be basically disabled and disabled so all this will be swimming and I'm gonna make it a bit bigger because this is gonna be start and this is gonna be Stop swimming So we have it everything so good organized it's very important to have everything organized for a large scale pride or even a small pride okay so now i think that we have to do is in our movement right now if we start swimming we would just move still like if we were in a third person game mode but much slower and we will not be sinking so uh, we just have to make sure that we're swimming in the direction that we're facing with the camera even upwards and downward so uh, just go ahead drag from here and make a branch and then we are just gonna ask if we are swimming so we're gonna get it and so we're gonna get this into false there we go and then I'm gonna copy and paste this and this is gonna be on true so if we are swimming if we are not swimming gonna be like normal and we are swimming we're gonna get the access value and plug it in scale value and the wall direction is gonna be um so here get a uh, control rotation and then it's gonna be the get forward vector and literally just plug it into what direction now i'm just gonna move it a bit down so we have some more space and it doesn't look so ugly <laughs> we did it so beautiful with our swimming display over here so we just plug it over here somewhere like this and there we go compile and save so of course now um if we press play nothing happens when we get to the water because we done uh we aren't calling this function whenever we are in the water so just for testing purposes i'm gonna say that when we start i'm gonna uh, start swimming 
just to go ahead and show you how it will basically look so if i go and press play you can see that basically i will be going in the direction that i'm swimming and yeah it will basically kind of look like this but of course we haven't got the swimming animation so now it looks really really weird and strange um so now let's make that basically when we get into the water we will actually start swimming okay so you select our water body ocean i'm gonna go in here where it says add in the details panel so actually sorry in the just the button right next to it just like a blueprint icon click on it and then this will appear so we can create a blueprint from this selection just look like this a new subclasses and with water body ocean selected and the location and name is great so just click select okay it's the only thing that we have to do so it basically created a blueprint with the uh, object so the only thing that we have to touch is go into the event graph and gonna get rid of the event tick and begin play and we just have to touch the event actor begin overlap and the event actor end and overlap here we go so uh other actor we're gonna cast to our third person character blueprint and we are just going to um call the start swimming over here and then I'm gonna copy this, paste over here, plug in the other actor, plug this on here, and on the end overlap, it's gonna be stop swimming, basically. There we go. And now we can compile and save. So I can also get rid of the begin play on here, because of course, at the start, we're gonna be walking as normal. So if I press play, I'm basically going ahead and working, just walking normal. But when I go into the ocean, you will see in a second that I'm um, basically swimming now. But of course, there was some really strange things happening. First of all, I had to jump to be able to um, be swimming. Then I was sliding a lot and I'm still sliding when I stop. Um, and then also, um, if I get close to the, you know, to the terrain, um, the legs actually are, you know, the foot IK is still being applied in water. And then of course we have our animations to be placed. So, uh, to fix all these things, just go, I'm uh, gonna be step by step fixing all these things. Just go into third person character blueprint and in the character movement component, uh, just search for swimming. And now we do have some cool things over here. First of all, the max swim speed. That was good. Uh, but what we're going to touch is the breaking this deceleration swimming. So we're gonna place this into a big number as 500. We're gonna test uh, which is gonna be the best value for us. And that was. The thing that basically was mm, uh, making the slider. So if I now go here, I have to jump. I will fix that in a second. But now it actually stops pretty faster. You can see now it's a bit much better. Okay, another thing fixed. Now let's thing uh, let's fix that we don't have to jump when we get into the water. So just go ahead and just before we enable the water volume member thing on the start swimming, just add a launch character node and i'm gonna go ahead and just move sorry i'm gonna move the physics volume character movement just to the side over here and basically the velocity is gonna be the get actor uh, location sorry <laughs> get actor rotation there you go because i want to get the up vector and then basically i'm gonna multiply this by a value to make it jump but a very small value um so i'm just gonna convert this rightly convert pin to float because we are already in the up vector and just put like uh, actually just two and then just plug in into launch velocity compound save and then go here press play and then if i get to the water he will just be swimming with the seams of transition great and then also um, we haven't tested this but uh, we'll fix the foot again in a second now the animation but when i get over to the water i go back running so there we go and uh let's continue with the applying animations and get rid of the foot ik system so to do this what we're going to do is just go into the content go into characters and just go into mannequins and animations now you can see that we have two blueprints uh we're gonna go into the abp money which is just the uh, parent of the other one now let's go quickly into the anim graph and we're gonna go ahead and disable the control rig right for now 
as just for the purpose of the tutorial i'm not gonna go and set it up that we have a certain values for control rig when we're swimming and not just to make it simple if you want to uh do it uh just leave me a comment saying hey i want to do this and i will just uh respond to you okay uh how you can basically activate and deactivate your control rig but for now for the case i'm just gonna plug in the default slot so now basically you will see that if i start swimming you will see that um the the foot are not aligning now so it isn't looking very weird when we are uh nearly on that place okay so now let's go ahead and place the swimming animations so i have got a very cool package um with over like 2000 animations which is pretty crazy i'll be linking it in the description now it's basically this one it's just a normal generic swimming animation uh for the mannequin now um i'll be living in the description like i said so you want to get the get tip uh there you go so basically i have to retarget it so just right click retarget and i just have to convert it into the from the ue4 to the ue5 mani okay because right now it's on the ue4 skeleton and there we go i have my animation here with the uh with the mannequin so great so now what we have to do is right click go into animation uh blend space 1d okay and just select the sk mannequin and yes it's gonna be the streaming space go ahead and open it so this will allow us to have an horizontal axis and as the speed increases we'll have different animations so uh this is gonna be just speed and the maximum value is gonna be our maximum value for the swimming so in this case it was 300 so just place here 300 and there we go so i will get the swimming animation which is a tree this one yeah so i i guess it's just this one because I, I had lots of one just testing which one was the best one and then this one is going to be at the end now unfortunately i haven't found an idle animation on this pack which is weird because it has over like 2000 animations but it's okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate this animation and name it just swimming idle and i'm just gonna do like a life hack and just the right scale put it like point uh, point one or something so it's gonna be like if if it's like slower or something uh, yeah it's just for the purpose of this video because i don't have a swimming idle animation okay so go back into the uh, blend space and get the idle animation to be oh sorry where's the blend space uh <laughs> let's just go back here there we go get the idle there we go and you can see now how the speed increases it changes now if we had the idle animation the proper one it will actually be much better but it's okay so now they have the plan space set up we can go back into our many uh, blueprint animation blueprint and we can click on main states down here we have basically all the well we have all these states for locomotion for land for the jumping etc so we can just add here a new state and it's gonna be streaming and literally just Make a reference to plug this into locomotion and then plug it back into swimming. So we have to create a new variable, which is a swimming, which is gonna be a boolean two. And basically just click on the front locomotion to swimming and just drag it over here. So when it's true, it will transition and then on the swimming to locomotion on the back one, uh, it's gonna be when I'm gonna get it and it's gonna be when it's not boolean. So when it's swimming is not, we're gonna transition back basically. Now we need to get that uh, set it from the uh, the swimming variable from the third person blueprint from this one. So to do this, we just can go into the uh, animation blueprint. Just go into the event graph, and on here, what we can do is cast into a third person because in here it just casts into the generic character. So I'm just gonna copy this and paste a cast to third person character plug it in over here there we go and um just in the initialize animation which is just the begin play basically on the start and then on the sequence on the update animation i'm just gonna get the um this one so we're gonna right click promote to variable and it's just gonna like this so basically it's now stored in a variable so i can now call it over here and it's just gonna be get is swimming is swimming there we go and now get the is swimming animation from here from the one that i created earlier and then just plug it in over here in the new sequence and there we go now it will be basically referenced and ready so if i were to go ahead and press play 
and I am wrong into the ocean. You can see that nothing is happening. <laughs> and it's because we have to do one more thing. Let's go main stage and double click on swimming because then we haven't set up the blend space animations being here. So just in the as a browser, just drag it over here, unplug it in. Now it's really cool because we already have the uh, essential movement data. We have the ground speed over here that was created earlier for the locomotion stuff. So now we were to place play, we are, you know, uh, just going normal as we would. But when we go into the water, you can see that we're really swimming. And now we are actually, we can go up and down and everything. And it's really cool. And when we stop, it's kind of slower. But of course, it will, it's better if we got an evil animation. And now when we go out of the water, we go back into normal. Now, there's a really small thing that I'm going to do, and it's that you realize that I have to go a lot out of the water in order to make it um, go back into normal. This is just because the capsule is too big, so because the animation is his like laid down, you know what I mean? So, uh, we need to use to get the capsule component set uh, capsule half height, and then basically over here, plug it in. Now, right now, over here. In the details, we can see that capsule have height is 90. Well, let's just put something as 20. And I'll just copy all these two things. And then over here, we're going to place it back into 90 where we go out of the water. Now we compound save. And then we go ahead and press play. You can see the new water normally. But when we get into the water, we have an error, which is infinite loop. Now, basically, what is happening, explain me why this is actually happening. But we're gonna just disable update overlaps and that will do the trick. So now we're basically walking normal. But when I get into the water, you're gonna see that there was something happening. And it's that because I think I went too far on the on the height. So let's put it on something as 50. Um so now if we go back over here or let's play. Now we are playing normally, but when we go into the water, we're now going ahead and starting swimming. And now we can go up and down, everything. It's really cool. But then when we go ahead and get out, you will see that it will not take so much time to get out of the water. And there we go. So you guys, that was the tutorial. If you found it useful and helpful, I really appreciate it. You could like the video and subscribe. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials as this one. So if you want to check them out, go ahead and uh, check my channel out. So yeah, that's it, guys. Leave a comment on other Unreal Engine 5 tutorials you want to see. And now, yes, with all I said, bye-bye.